Hello guys, this is the Total Book of Doom doing a new video review for you guys, and this time we're taking a look at the Snowbound Battlescape. This is a large set for around 40 bucks. Is it well worth your price? Well, I think so, because one major reason is that it's an Arctic Battlescape. I love Arctic stuff. I don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with me being Canadian. I, I, it might. But it just seems like a cool element to me, and uh, I'm so happy that I got this. Um, before we ever saw this set, we heard that there was going to be an Arctic Bellscape, and I'm so happy that it came true, because this is an amazing set. And I love it that it's in the Snowbound line. Absolutely amazing. I think it's well worth your money, but let's take a further look into the set. First off, we're going to take a look at the minifigures. Now these are the figures that you get out of the set if you choose to buy it. First off, we're going to take a look at the UNSC figures, and then we're going to take a look at the Covenant figures. First off, let's take a look at my only Recon Spartan that I ever have in my entire collection. This is an active camo Recon Spartan. Unfortunately, I do not have a normal Recon Spartan, but still a very cool looking figure to get. And I absolutely recommend you get a recon because uh, I, I gotta say the armor looks pretty cool. I wish it was in more sets, but I kind of see why it's so limited. Now, this one does include, I believe it's called the Mauler. I don't know. I don't usually play Halo. So, I just, I just collect the toys. Maybe you guys will understand. Maybe you guys will tell me. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways... So you get this very nice active camo recon Spartan. It's got new shoulders, a new chest, and a new helmet, which looks absolutely amazing. I wish I could give you a better depth in the detail of this figure, but being that it's active camo, it's really hard to tell with a lot of the uh, stuff going on. It's still pretty cool. Um, absolutely in love with this figure. Really nice. And I just highly recommend you get one, especially for this weapon. I love that in active camo. Next one we're going to take a look at is the blue scout with the white tampo at the bottom. Or tampo, whatever it is. Anyways, this one comes with a black battle rifle, which is really cool. By the way, I forgot to mention that this guy could pretty much play for either side. You don't know if he's red or if he's blue. Or maybe he's neither. Ooh. Anyways, so this blue little scout. Um, some people might like the helmet. Some people might not. I personally do. I'm not a big fan of uh, scouts when they have the ODST chest, but it kind of seems a little downgraded from the Spartans, and I kind of like that because scout just sounds like a, one of the smaller characters, which I really like. It does have the scout uh, shoulder pads, or what the scouts usually wear, and uh, just overall it's really cool. Love the little bits of black detail, the white wash is pretty well done. It comes with a good visor, which is absolutely amazing, you can see my reflection. And then, you get the Red Commando Elite. This guy is okay. I mean, you're probably not getting the entire set for the Commando Elite. I know a lot of people who aren't a fan of the Commando Elite to begin with, but I actually do like the Commando Elite. Um, it does come with an Arctic little wash on the bottom, which is nice. It's colored in red. It's got bits of gray, I believe, yeah, blue for the eyes. And it does come with this little plasma whatever thingy. Again, you guys might know. I keep forgetting the name of that. But overall, still very cool. I love this little figure. As far as accessories go, you get the little rod things that uh, connect so you can put stuff on top of that. But I, I'm not sure what you're going to apply to this with the Snowbound set. Maybe you can take a Banshee from one of your other sets. Well, they did come out with a blue Banshee that you can pretty much just put in the line. Um, but you can also use the regular purple banshees. I, I see why not. Um, it does include one that's just straight. It does not include the ball joints within it. It's got one with the ball joints. Only one. Only one ball joint. 
and then it's got this smaller one which I, I guess you can plug in stuff there just to make them look like they're hovering or maybe an explosion happened and they just happen to jump off the ground I don't know either way they're pretty cool to have and you know you can apply them to your other battlescapes if you want so very nice that they include three of these now, I can't remember anything about these, so I might get the information wrong, just so you know. Uh, I'm just going to call them the Covenant Fuel Rods. Maybe that's right? I, I, I really don't know. I should play Halo. <laughs> um, so, you get these little purple things with the blue inside them, and they look really cool. I will say, as a, kind of like a, a evil version of the Fuel Rods for the UNSC, this is a very nicely done design. Uh, I like the parts. It just has three parts. Nothing really much. That kind of looks like a detonator or a landmine or something like that. That's pretty cool. So, overall, they're nice. And you get two of them. I believe this is the only set you get two of them, or any of them for that matter. So... Yeah, if you want a lot of them, you're probably going to have to buy a lot of Battlescapes. And then you get this nice Covenant turret. I'm in love with this turret. Look at the look at the detail of this. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, the base is kind of meh, but uh, it, it's fine. It, it's perfectly fine. I love the turret itself. That's absolutely amazing. I believe this is a new piece, but uh, this isn't right here. Uh, it actually came with the uh, Goss Hog. Not the Goss Hog. Did it come with the Goss Hog? Yeah, it came with the Goss Hog. I'm sure of it. And uh, this piece just slides over. I believe it's new and exclusive to this set. So it does have some exclusive parts to it. But um, other than that, there's really not much new to it. However, how it's built, how it's constructed, I am a huge fan of this turret. And for you Mario fans, we get this one little gold coin. I think that's amazing that you get the one coin. Just the little something they wanted to throw in just to, just to keep you happy. The battlescape is very traditional to the ones and two battlescapes. It's not like the third battlescape. Uh, this one actually does include the little base, and it does have a couple of 2x4 plates and other various things, I I think. I think it's just the 2x4s, I don't know, I have those somewhere else, I should grab them. But uh, you do get the little white piece of the battlescape, which you can have to the side if you want. You can connect it to here to cover that up. You can leave that open now, and you can see a pop can. Uh, you can leave that open if you want, and uh, there's really nothing in here. You don't get, like, the uh, the first Battlescape where you get the uh, little stickers and lots of detail. It, it's very simple. It's a very simple bunker, but uh, it's uh, still uh, cool. And uh, you do get the little stand piece to connect it upon itself. So that just slides in, just plug it by the little post, and then there you go. You can drive a mongoose into here, which is absolutely perfect for you to get the, uh, the snowbound high base, because that includes an arctic mongoose in which you can drive into the bunker. It's still very cool, you get the gray uh, parts, it's kind of got like a greenish tone with silver lines all over it, it almost looks... Look at that. That's a Christmas tree right there. And then you get the sil or not the silver, the white around here. And then it's got little bits of gray detail just to add to it. It's a very ne uh, nice texture. I really love it. I'm a huge fan of how they finally did the Battlescape in an Arctic camo. So overall, do I highly recommend this set? Absolutely. It's well worth your buy. You get a very nice Arctic Battlescape in which you can attach the high base which I figured out that you, you can just leave setting on the side. It doesn't really peg in, but you, if you want a complete high base and a battlescape, but you want to put the, the uh, high base on the set, 
you can you just set it right here and it's perfectly fine it does not plug in as i said but it's perfectly fine however there's instructions on the megablocks website to where you can attach the high base on the here and you can build up from that so absolutely cool well worth your buy uh the rods are, are kind of useless but you know what still it's a good opportunity to get a couple of them so it's great for your displays and if you want to throw in a banshee or two in the set you can absolutely do so absolutely great set phenomenal it's well worth your buy if you're gonna get it for kids this is again well worth your buy anyways that's all for now and i should say it's great for collectors anyways that's all for now i'm the total of ultimate doom and i'll see you guys next time